Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today I wanted to do a very quick video on the awesome game of meme. Um, this. This word can be removed. The, the game of meme. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, I bought this game expecting it to be terrible um, in order to play at my Christmas party because um, I work from home so every year at Christmas time I invite all of my mates around and we play rubbish games basically. We play some good stuff um, but I always um, introduce something which I'm expecting to be terrible and the awesome game of meme, it didn't disappoint in that it did disappoint. Um, yeah, this is actually one of several games um, that have come out which involve memes. I think there's another one called uh, What Do You Meme? Um, a friend of mine um, has played that and he said that it is better than the awesome game of meme because it has funnier pictures. Um, but I'm going to get on a limb and, and guess that regardless of the quality of the pictures, this is the kind of game that you play once and never play again. It's um, effectively Cards Against Humanity, um, but with pictures. Um, I'm not a big fan of Cards Against Humanity, um, I've, I've mentioned that before. Um, the thing with Cards Against Humanity is you get a sentence and then you get some words and you drop the words into the sentence to, to try and make something that sounds funny. Um, the awesome game of meme takes that concept, but instead of dropping words into a sentence, you already have a complete sentence that you have to marry up with a picture um, in order to create a hilarious meme. Generally speaking, none of the memes you can create are hilarious. But then, what do you expect from a game that spells rules with a Z? Um, but yeah, uh, the rules are a little bit actually convoluted and we didn't bother uh, at, my, at my Christmas party following them uh, slavishly because um, there's, there's kind of a card drafting thing. Um, every player is supposed to have five picture cards. So I just go one, two, three, four, five. And everybody is also supposed to have five uh, sentence cards. And then there's supposed to be like this drafting situation where you pick one of your cards and pass to the person on the left and they go all around. Um, and then you do the same thing with the sentence cards but going in the opposite direction. And it, it's not, this isn't a strategy game. This isn't like a deck building game or a combo generating game. Well, I suppose it is a combo generating game, just not in the traditional sense. Um, and it just didn't feel like it was worth the effort of swapping cards around because at the end of the day, everyone was just randomly sticking pictures and words together anyway. So that seemed pretty pointless. The other thing that was that was pretty pointless is that you have a deck of um, categories and each round you pick one of these and it goes goes in the middle of the table and then everybody's supposed to create a meme based around that word. But no one really did. No, every, everyone sort of just went for whatever they thought was okay. Um, and this is this is the problem, it's 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 just not very good. I mean having a having a hand of ten cards with two different sizes and two different things is is a pain in, in the first place because you're sort of looking at your cards going, oh, hold on a minute, what what have I got? And does does that go go with that? And does that go with that? And so it's a bit of a fiddle. Um, which is a bit, a bit awkward. And um, and the, and the things you can do, I mean, if if you thought Cards Against Humanity was lacking in in a sort of a way to be creative and funny, um, th th then this is possibly more so. I mean, the pictures are awful. Uh, yep. I, I mean, I don't I don't know whether they sourced these images from various stock places or whether. They took all these photos themselves. There's a chicken eating some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, other types of, of, of fried chicken are available. My lawyers tell me I should say. Um, and so yeah, you've got. So I've got on a scale of one to ten, I'm thirty-seven. Preaching to the choir. I mean that's that's not even funny anyway. Preaching to the choir. 
hashtag blessed, there's a lot of hashtags in this game, come at me bro, and king of the world. So okay, um, and then I, I've got the pictures that you saw. So okay, well I, there we go. I would go. Uh, I would I would put down come at me, bro, and and there's a Venus flytrap um, with the fly in it because the fly's going to get munched. But but ha, now the fly's saying like come at me, bro. I can take you. Um, isn't that hilarious? No, no, it's not. But but what else? I mean, I could have gone. There's a big plate of sausages. I could have gone with with hashtag blessed because everyone likes sausages. Or, or maybe I could have gone. On a scale of one to ten, I'm 37, and then had a man and a man with with an octopus on his head. Or or maybe maybe somebody somewhere thinks this lady here is a 37 on a scale of one to ten. And then I've not I've made something that isn't even funny. It's, I don't. You see what I'm getting at? It's a terrible game. Um, yeah, we, we played it once at my Christmas party. Um, I don't think it's even worthy of, of reviewing on my blog, and it's not going to stay in my collection, that much is sure. Um, I knew it was going to be terrible. It was terrible. I think we had a few laughs playing it, but because it was terrible, um, that sort of so bad it's good thing that, that some games have, but... I think it's so bad it's good, w only gets one play in, in, in this particular household. Maybe you guys um, think differently. Um, how about I sign off with, with a little game. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And let's put that out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. These all still in shot. There you go. Five sentences, five images. Anybody in the comments, tell me, is there anything funny there? Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.